Hello everyone, this is Ben Dunn. I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm going to show you what I use to draw my comics. Now, uh, here's basically the my tools that I use. Um, they're very simple, very cheap, you know, very easy to get a hold of. Uh, and uh, I will go ahead and explain what I use each one for and how you can get them. Now, uh, usually I use a, uh, a zebra. You know, uh, this is a 05 pencil. It's a mechanical pencil. I love these things. I've used them f for the better part of uh, uh, my career. They're very cheap. You can buy them at any store that sells uh, stationery or pencils. Um, the lead I use is a uh, HP, which is sort of a semi-soft a semi soft semi hard pencil lead now some people like to use hard lead some people like to use soft leads now you uh, you can tell by the uh, softness of the lead by the indication of b you know the the higher the number with the b in front of it the softer the lead uh if you go like to use a hard lead you go by what is called h uh and the harder the lead, the lead, the higher the number will be with the H in front of it. Now, uh, I sometimes use a, a, a harder lead for when I want to do pencil details, but I very rarely use those. And HBs are the most common type of lead you can buy. Very cheap. Buy them anywhere. Uh, some people like to use traditional pencils. That's fine. You know, I used to do that, but I kept, I hate to keep sharpening them all the time. With these, uh, you can just click and more lead comes out. Now, uh, like I said, some of you like to use traditional pencils, which is fine. If that's your wheelhouse, go for it. But like I said, I hate it to keep sharpening them and emptying out the, the container. Now, these are my inking pens. These are disposable ink pens. Uh, these are uh, Chinese knockoffs, you know, of, uh, of uh, the Japanese style pens that I used to use. I used to buy them from... Uh, jet pins, but they were becoming more and more expensive. You know, they used to be like a you know a dollar, dollar two. Now they become three or four dollars a piece. And you know, I found these on Timu, very cheap. They're less than a dollar each. You can get them in sets. This one has sort of a semi uh, soft, uh, wider. This is what I call fine tip, which is good for broad lines. You know, uh, you know, which is uh, very very useful. Uh, this one is a more, you notice a sharper point, which I like for details. Be careful with these because uh, if you press too hard down, they tend to the wider. The, so the more you press down these pins, the wider the lines they are. Uh, uh, this is sort of a hard tip, which I like because it holds uh, the line a lot better, but it's less flexible. Um, this one also has... A sharp point too, which I also like, but this one is sort of a soft tip, so it gives you more flexibility and line width, which you find very important in uh, your line work. Yeah. Uh, again, these are you can buy these uh, on Timu, very cheap, disposable, so just use them up as you see fit. Uh, you know, if you're like most artists, you don't have a tendency to throw away any pin; you just keep them until they die. You know, that's the thing is that. You know, God dang it, I'm going to use every single drop of ink I can out of these pins. You know? So these are the one pins I use that have no a point to them. You know, the, I used to use Microns, but Microns had a tendency to split and fray. You know, and these don't have a tendency to do that. They they have what is they hold their their shape, but they do wear down. You know, this one is a point oh oh three. This is for very, 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 very small line work. You know, this is really good for drafting, getting super detail, things like that. Um, if you if you, if that's your wheelhouse. You know, then uh, this is my next level up, this is the O one, which also gives you a really nice thing. This is typically the one I use the most, you know, other than the O O five, which uh, I sometimes will do especially on very, very, very small details. This gives you a really good line. Uh, for, uh, you know, for things that require a lot, a lot of detail. Now, these are also, uh, uh, I think, they're, they're Chinese knockoffs, but they're very good. They're very good, and the good thing about it is they're, like I said, disposable. They last quite a while. I've learned they can uh, typically run an entire project and before I have to replace them. 
and uh, they uh, are very, very. I, I mean, I and I abuse ever living crap out of them. Believe me, you know. Uh, and so they're very cheap. They they run for like fifty cents to a dollar each. So they're very uh, affordable if you're a starving artist like I am. You know. Uh, this one uh, is a Japanese uh, brush pen. Uh, it's a Pentel, as far as I know. It's very good. I love these things because uh, this one has a point to it. A very nice, uh, I just call it extra fine. Now you can use fine, but I don't like fine because it doesn't allow me to get into little tight corners of the artwork. And uh, this gives you a really nice, you know, broad strokes, you know, like uh, you can start off with a very thin line and then you can just wah, you know, and it gives you a little wah, you know, and then you can go in and get those little tight corners in there. You know, and it gives you really nice blacks. Now, be careful with these because the ink has to dry completely before you can erase. Uh, so, uh, also, these are replaceable. You know, you can, once you're done, uh, once you run out of the ink, you can just pop it open, put a new uh, a cartridge in there, and it's good to go. These can last a very long time before they start to fray and... Uh, become, you know, harder and harder to get that fine point, but they last a long time. I tell you what, the Japanese know how to build pins, and this is one of those examples of such. Now, for corrections, I use the Pentel, or uh, Presto, Jumbo Correction Fluid. Now, uh, I don't know if they, I don't know if they make an extra fine point, because if they did, I certainly would buy it, but this is a very good pin, because it's very opaque. You know, when uh, I make a correction, you know, you just shake it, and then it's like, oh man, look at that. Total white out. Amazing, you know. Because sometimes uh, uh, correction pins that advertise as opaque, not really, they're not very opaque, you know. This one's okay, not bad, you know. Not as good, you see, it still shines through and it does have a tendency to bleed into the ink, you know. Sometimes you can do the, it gives you a nice, uh, it's good for like, you know, if you want to do some quick stars or uh, uh, highlights and things like that. They're, they're pretty good and they're not too bad. Uh, I would say overall, it's not a not a, a, a pretty good overall white out pin, not too bad, you know. Now for finer details, you know, you can use a bottle of uh, uh, a, a real uh, ink that uh, will give you the results of a very, give you very good results. You know, like if we, this one here is a bottle of chalk uh, thing. Now, this one is a. Uh, oh, this one. <laughs> I haven't used that in a while, so it's kind of dried out. I have to re, re, rehydrate it. But if, you, if it was not dried out, you could uh, use a brush and get really nice the little little fine uh, details. Now, uh, and, and sometimes that uh, works if that's what the effect you're trying to go for. So anyway, those these are the typical tools I use. You know, uh, you can get all of these online very cheaply. You know, like I said, I get them at Timu, and uh, they do uh, their. Uh, uh, you can find them usually in packs. I don't think you can buy them individually, uh, but uh, you can buy them usually in sets. But uh, one set can cost. Uh, what one pin will cost uh, everywhere else. So, you know, you, even if you don't use all the pins, uh, you'd still very cost efficient because you get a lot more pins. So anyway, I'm going to do a speed drawing of Tomorrow Girl using these pins, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, this has been done. Signing off. Whenever there's trouble, she's always around With a super strength and lightning speed She fights for justice, fulfilling the need